Inspired. Inspired. That's a word. Good start to the YouTube video. What's up everyone, Andrew Bainey here, and I recently saw a video by Fluff from Riffs, Beards, and Gear that kind of inspired me to do a similar video. So before we go any farther, shout out to Fluff. Um, I know lots of other YouTubers have made videos like this before, but Fluff's was really interesting to me because he's one of the first music YouTube channels that I've seen do this type of video, and I was very surprised to see that his experience with YouTube and how he makes his living is actually quite different than mine, much to my surprise. With that being said, basically this video is just gonna be kind of explaining how I make my living, I guess. So I am extremely fortunate to have my dream job where I basically get to sit here and play guitar and scream and make memes pretty much all day. And it's pretty much the best thing I could have asked for. Uh, as much as sometimes I get down in the dumps and feel like I'm doing a terrible job, Really, I'm doing pretty good, and I have to remind myself that every single day because I have terrible self-confidence. But anyways, I know that a lot of people don't really understand how people like me, content creators, influencers, YouTubers, whatever you want to call us, uh, actually earn money and make a living. There are a lot of videos out there now that kind of have demystified it a little bit, but it's very interesting to me that each YouTuber or content creator basically has their own way of doing things. So. I'm gonna tell you all about mine. So first and foremost, obviously my primary source of revenue and the primary place where I post content is YouTube, where you guys are watching this right now. Although that is quickly starting to change to be potentially TikTok. I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, so basically my primary thing is making videos for YouTube. Now the thing that everybody already knows is you get paid for having ads on your videos on YouTube. That's why when you watch a YouTube video, ads autoplay, whether they're skippable, non-skippable, or there's those little bumper ads at the bottom of the screen. So basically anytime you see anything like that, the creator of that video is getting paid. So this is my primary method of creating content and, oh, there's chocolate on my hand. So this is pretty much the main vehicle that I drive to make money for myself. However, the interesting thing is my primary source of revenue actually isn't the ad revenue from YouTube. Unlike Fluff and other YouTubers, I actually make most of my money from sponsorships. Now what a sponsor is, is basically when a company approaches me directly and they ask me to either demo, review, or talk about a product that they are selling in a video, basically then it treats my video as a direct advertisement for that product. You guys have all seen sponsored videos, you know what I'm talking about. So the reason that this has become so popular over the past few years and why this has become a much bigger source of revenue is because companies have started to realize that, you know, they can dump, let's say, a thousand dollars into a blanket ad on YouTube and YouTube or Google is basically just going to push it to whoever it wants, depending on who they choose to target. However, if a company is making something like, well, let's use my most recent one, guitar impulse responses, right? So instead of, you know, paying some algorithm to hopefully put the ads out there, what they'll do instead is they'll reach out to a specific content creator like myself, because they're like, hey, you play guitar and you play downtuned guitar. We literally released a product about downtuned guitars. Therefore, like, yes, my video might not get as many views for the ad as it would if they just did the blanket ad. The people that watch my video are far more likely to be interested in the product and far more likely to potentially buy it. So therefore, they pay me to make an ad for them, basically. So with that being said, my two main sources for revenue for myself are both the ad revenue from YouTube and the ad revenue from sponsored content. So those two things combined make about 70% of my total income, which is a lot. The interesting thing though, is that my YouTube ad revenue is only 30%, whereas my sponsored content is about 40%. I'm rounding up a little bit here, but that's the basic point of it. So yeah, in my case, I thought it was interesting because I'm actually the opposite of fluff where I do make more money through sponsors than I do through ads. And the reason that that would be is because when some content creators make their YouTube videos, they make long format videos, right? So for example, a channel like Fluffs, let's keep using him as an example, he makes videos that are eight minutes or longer. And the thing is when you make videos that are longer, you actually get more money from YouTube ads because you can add mid rolls and stuff like that. And basically you have a longer uh, watch time or audience retention. So therefore YouTube 
gives you more money per video, more or less, because more of their ads are being seen on your video. Whereas for me, my most popular videos are all extremely short videos. They're like 50 seconds or less. I'm sure a lot of you have seen them. They're like the breakdown call out videos that I do with Johnny or just whatever, memes and stuff like that. Those are my biggest videos and the ones that get the most views. And those make almost no money at all, unfortunately. I wish they made more. But for reference, a video with a million views that's eight minutes long is likely to make you probably around $2,000. Whereas a video that's short and gets a million views will only earn you about $50. Yeah. It hurts. <laughs> so in my case, most of my videos that make the most money are actually some of my videos with way, way, way less views because, you know, my longer format content videos, longer format content videos, my longer former content doesn't get nearly as many views as my short form content. So therefore, I don't actually make as much money off of ad revenue. Kind of weird, but that's how it works. So because of that, I obviously try to take up sponsors because uh, if I only relied on my ad revenue, I would be making way less than minimum wage in Canada. So that's not an option for me. So basically by adding my ad revenue and my sponsored content revenue, that makes up 70% of my total revenue. And that is the bulk of where my money comes from. Now, what is the other 30%? I'm glad you asked potentially nobody who's watching this video. Um, basically the way that I do things is kind of weird where I have, I think 10 different sources of revenue or 10 sources of revenue that are big enough for me to bother calculating. Um, and they all vary hugely in the amount that they pay out. So for example, what I do in addition to ad revenue and sponsored content is of course, I also have my Patreon page, which is where I share my stems, audio downloads, guitar tabs, and a shout out on the screen. Speaking of shout out on the screen, thank you to everyone who's on my Patreon page because this is a massive help for me because that is my third biggest source of revenue at 15%. After that is my digital distribution, which basically means all of my solo music or collab music that I put out on, you know, Spotify, Apple Music, etc., etc., which is about 12% of my total income. So surprisingly pretty low. Um, I do get pretty decent plays on those platforms, but yeah, it just doesn't pay out very much, unfortunately. And this is also, by the way, not including Carcosa at all. At this point in time, I do not make anything from Carcosa. I don't think anyone in the band makes anything from Carcosa other than Cooper because he literally makes and ships all of our merch by himself. So obviously we pay him, but everyone else in the band doesn't actually make anything from the project at this point in time. So Carcosa is not included. This is that digital distribution portion is only my solo music, music I do with Johnny or collabs with other people. And yeah, that's that. The next source of revenue is a little bit newer. So bear that in mind because it looks like a lot less money because we've only been doing it for a couple months. But basically Johnny and myself started a cameo page where we essentially scream whatever people want at them. And that accounts for about 2% of my total revenue. So not very much. And then I have a couple other miscellaneous ones, which are really weird. So I also have merch, which I like barely advertise at all which is 0.6%, so not much at all. Um, although I did start a new merch brand with my friends Cooper and Johnny. So I'm hoping that in this year, we'll kind of reverse that and the merch will become a much more important part of my total revenue, but that remains to be seen. And then last place, I don't even know why I have this year because I literally only did this once last year, but it's music recording services. So occasionally I'll have people reach out to me to basically ghost write or ghost record music for them. And I pretty much always say no because I just don't have time and I would rather focus on making videos for myself or music for Carcosa or music for myself rather than making it for other people. But I have it as a source of revenue on there just in case I ever wanna take it up. It looks like last year I only took up that offer one time for a grand total of 0.2%. And then last but not least is a bigger chunk of revenue that has nothing to do with content creation. It's about 12%. And basically I work remotely for a company called Precision Guitar Kits. Um, I've demoed a few of their kits on my channel before. And basically I just help to um, read and respond to their emails. And I do that for about an hour every day. So it's a nice 
remote job that pays me a little bit of extra money and that's about 12 percent of my total revenue so that's where all my money comes from i'm not giving you guys exact numbers on how much i earn because i don't feel comfortable doing that but i thought it would be interesting to see like a breakdown of where this all lies so I don't really know what the point of this video is. I guess it's just if you're curious about how stuff like this works, or maybe if you are thinking of becoming a content creator, this might be useful to you because a lot of this stuff, nobody really tells you, obviously, you just kind of have to figure it out. So I think it's awesome that Fluff and other YouTubers and content creators have started kind of sharing how they are making it because it is a, it's, it's tough. I know it looks like all fun and games, like we're just sitting here playing guitar all day, but it's a lot of fucking work. And to get to this point, like it was brutal. Like I've been making videos on the internet for probably almost 10 years. Uh, and a lot of that was, you know, I would be going to university, working part time and then coming home and then trying to make YouTube videos or working full time with a commute that's like a two hours a day. So basically 10 hours of my day was gone and I would come home and still try and make YouTube videos every day. And I did all of that when I was making like almost no money at all, um, which was incredibly difficult. And I wanted to give up more times than I can count. I'm glad I didn't now, but it is extremely hard. So to anyone that is thinking of becoming a content creator, it's hard as fuck, but if you can get there and I hope you do, it's extremely rewarding. And I really hope I never have to have a real job, real job ever again, because you know, as hard as it is, I wouldn't have it any other way. And I guess lastly, I obviously just wanna say, as usual, like a massive thank you to anyone who watches my videos, because none of this would be possible if people didn't watch what I make. So thank you all so much for watching. I don't really know if anyone's gonna watch this video because I know it's a little out there and, and weird for me, but I don't know, I was, I was feeling it tonight. So if you found this interesting or perhaps helpful, please let me know in the comments and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you later.